Well, I'm Mark Frank Smarts. Uh, at the University of Minnesota, Morris, a couple of student DJs, uh, uh, DJs, talk show hosts, whatever, were suspended for saying the word tranny. They called the campus police on them, believe it or not. Claiming that the word tranny is banned by the FEC, FCC, which it is not. The Plurable Radio's weekly show on KUMM, hosted by students Brandon Albrecht and Taylor Lehman. Albrecht told the college fix in an email that the programming is a mix of politics, music, and some random musings about current events locally and around the world. Dylan was notified of the cancellation two weeks ago after Albrecht used a controversial word on air to refer to transgender individuals. During a discussion about the university's lack of Antifa violence, Albrecht said that the camp was too small for potential violent activists to hide his, or let's say her, identity. I added that. You know, you can definitely, you can see one tranny that's trying to punch somebody. Albrecht told the fix. He said on the air, you know, it's automatically that one guy that you know I'm talking about. I bet you know. I'm not going to dox anybody and name them on the air. But you know, if I say tranny, it looks like he's going to punch somebody. Yeah. About 15 minutes later, Albert told the fix, the station manager, the communist, came into the studio with a UMMPD officer and told us to leave. She called the campus police. Unbelievable. She said we had violated FCC law by saying a word that was never allowed on the air training, so we packed up and left the studio. So the, here's uh, the video. The communist does walk in and told them basically to leave. I said communist. You want me to add something else? Traitor. Communist traitor. I had... Hey guys, I'm just going to have to have you leave. You said a couple words to break FCC violations, manager says, according to the video, which appears to be lightly edited for time. And so for today, I'm going to have to stop your show, specifically Franny. That's a hate slur that's not allowed on radio. I need to leave. So the communist walks in and tells them to leave. About a week after the suspension of the show, Albert said the university radio station summoned him and Lehman for an executive board meeting of communists, along with its faculty advisor. One sec. We, uh, when Albrecht, they told the station hosts they are permanently suspended from the radio by an executive decision. Meaning, a communist, uh, Duma, or Politburo, or however you want to put it. Board members said they received complaints from their show and threats to file a report to the FCC, which could end up costing the station, which is a university-funded organization, thousands of dollars. Albrecht told the fix that the board openly admitted also, not in fact, broken FCC rules by saying for tranny. Word, however, claimed they had received complaints a week before that said Albert and Lehman sound like they were under the influence, which is an FCC violation. Uh, now we're getting into defamation and slander. Uh, the same thing I'm getting from certain individuals on when I uh, do these videos. That's a suitable offense. But the burden of proof isn't on the person to prove their innocence. The burden of proof is on the person making the claim. That's a suitable offense. The board asked us to voluntarily resign from the club. Albert et cetera, they would bring to vote and the entire club to kick us out. Albert said the allegation in our team named broadcast while well, intoxicated is false. They are 
Sean Silver. Attorney First Amendment and media lawyers Bob Corn Revere, the board's assertions regarding federal communication laws are false. The officials are wrong, Corn Revere told the fix via email, college fix. Neither saying the word tranny nor broadcasting under the influence is violation of FCC rules. The FCC specifically refused to deny an application for new FM broadcast stations in 2008 in response to a public complaint that the applicant had been under the influence of alcohol while on air at a different station. The commission told the person to complain besides known specific rule violations. His bare statement that because counties surrounding Jasper are dry and thus on air and intoxication violates community standards for decent behavior. It is insufficient to raise a substantial material issue of fact regarding the applicant's qualifications. I'm not going to get into any more of the lawyer legalese. This is a simple case of anti-American communists. I said communists. Uh, trying to attack our civil rights. Simple, cut and dried, anti-American communist traitors. I'm not taking it back! I'm not taking it back! These are communist traitors! So, let's take a look at the uh, station manager. This says station manager's name is Carter Young. I'm really not sure I can match her f the face of this creature to uh, video because it's too small. That's what it says it is, Carter Young. And you can see that these two influentials are no longer on the station. Unbelievable. This is, this is called tyranny, in case you don't know. These are communist traitors who hate freedom. They hate individual re responsibility. These are not Americans. I'm going to say it again! I don't care whether you like it or not. These are not Americans! that do this type of thing. These are not Americans. They are traitors to their country. I'm not taking it back. They're goddamn traitors. There. Well, I'm, I'm high. I, a lot of these people do this stuff for money. They do it strictly for money, and they don't really give rents for it. I actually call these people up and I bitch them out, or more than likely I'll uh, uh, write them. I found enough links and I can rip them a new uh, anus if I want to. We'll have to wait and see. And this is this is called tyranny, communist tyranny. I'm not taking it back. I'm not taking it back! These are communist tyrants! They are against America! They hate freedom! They hate the Constitution! I'm not taking it back! Alright, I said my piece. I'm going to yell myself hoarse.